Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to provide view definition permission of a database objects to a user in database of SQL Server. So what we're going to do, use two methods to do it, using SQL Server Management Studio graphic user interface and then using T-SQL script to do that. So let's go ahead and do it. This is my SQL Server right here. I'm connected using SQL Server Management Studio. So here's the database and here's the user that I'm going to give per view definition permission. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on the user and click on securable right here and click on search and click on specific objects. In this case, we're going to select tables and store procedures. These are the um, uh, two objects that we want to give uh, view definition uh, permission to this user. What view definition is basically that user can see uh, the schema or the code of tables and stored procedure. So we're gonna go ahead and click OK and click browse. This will give us all the tables and the stored procedures. So we're gonna go ahead and select customer and customer 2 and after that we're going to go ahead and select one stored procedure user defined stored procedure which is right here. We're gonna go ahead and click OK click OK and then these are the tables so table have different permissions than stored procedures so we're gonna select the table and give select permission right here and then select the second table give select permission right here select the stored procedure and give execute uh, I'm sorry let's go back In this particular demo, we're going to give view definition permission. So click on the uh, table and go all the way down. We see that view definition permission right here. Click on that. Click on grant. And then again, this uh, second table, view definition. And then store procedure. Right here is view definition for store procedure. So we're going to go ahead and click on view definition and click OK. And this store procedure. If, if you double click on this user you can see that uh, these th two tables and a store procedure is added and all these two tables have view definition now this user can go ahead and look at the code uh, or definition of these tables and store procedure so this is using a uh, graphic user interface so what we're gonna do is take the permission out and use our SQL script to do the same thing so we're gonna go ahead and remove this user now because we're going to do the same thing using T-SQL script. So I'm going to go ahead and load my T-SQL script. Right here is my T-SQL script. As you can see right here is a, a grant view definition on this particular table and then this store procedure and this table. So there are two tables and one store procedure that we're going to give uh, a view definition permission to Kevin Scott which is our user so we're gonna go ahead and run this store procedure and see that if Kevin Scott have permission so we're gonna go ahead double click on that and see all those two tables and view definition and this table view definition and store procedure view definition so this is basically how you uh, give permission to any user uh, definition permit uh, view definition permission of any object in the database in SQL Server and I hope this video helps